<laughs> we lit. <laughs> We're live. Yo, Lou, how's it's it looking? Live, how's it shaking? Same shit, different day, man. Back at it again. Back at it again. Can we tell them the good news or not yet? Not yet. We need to hold off on that. We got to sa- officially sign the yeah, contract. Yeah, yeah, let's make it official first. All right, we'll make it official. But yeah, man, this is what happens when you work hard and you're consistent with your shit. Mm-hmm. I remember when we first started, a lot of other people was like, oh, I want to do a podcast too. Where they at now? I tell people, though, it's easy to do a podcast. You know how easy it is for you to sit down in front of a microphone and talk some shit, but be able to say something with some substance? That's the difference. And you be and easy. People don't know you from your own podcast. Cause you got you, you got your own podcast. Yeah, who the fuck are we podcast? And they be like, yo, why you Lou never talk on your shit? I'm like, bro, go to his shit. He be dropping some gems. Yeah. And like they go I to your people, shit. But you're different. Why are you different here than you are on your own podcast? Because here, like, all right, you want me to blow your spot up right now? I ain't got nothing to hide. Hold on, wait. What would you blow my spot? I got nothing to hide. I got nothing to hide. Check it out, right? Might come off and be like, yo, it'll be like today, September 1st. Yo, we're going to interview Josh today. Okay, cool. I got like 10 minutes to fucking do some background work. But you got to understand, it wasn't my (laughs) fault. I, I'm not, besides jokes. All jokes aside, nah, all all bullshit aside, I'm I'm just fucking with you, even though he do do that. (laughs) But... All, all he told me last like, minute. He was like, Yo, I'll let you know by tonight. So, wh- yeah. what, what, what can I tell y'all? No, nah, no, nah, I feel you. It'd be, it be like that, though. Nah, it'd be like that. You're not the only one. You won't be the last. Right? Um, the shit is that on here, we interview people. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to interview you. We're going to chop it up. We're going to get to know you. Right? We're going to get to know you. I don't like too, doing too much talking when I'm interviewing somebody else because the purpose we're here is for you. It's not for me. You no, that's facts too. When you go log on, when you go log on and hit every platform, and you go listen to who the fuck are we, then you can get my opinion on certain shit. Like, Cause I just you know talk I mean? about topics. I talk about everything. No guests. Yeah, no, no, I have guests once in a blue moon. I had um, uh, Brandon Givens. He's uh, part of the Young Democrats over in uh, Union County. I have different guests. I don't try to bring like celebrities or rappers. No, you're right. Bring, like, I remember politicians and other shit. Remember when we first started? Mm-hmm. I would talk, 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 and then the people be like, man, can the guest talk? Yeah, yeah, that's another bit. So I, I, I like to from, let remember the guests episode do one thing here. Yeah. From episode one, I, I learned my yeah. lesson. I read the comments. I'm like, oop. Yeah, because I feel like when, when we up here and we're doing this, um, like, don't get me wrong, there's times I'm going to interject and I'm going to say what I need to say, but I feel like it's more, the spotlight's on y'all. Look, the lights is on y'all. The lights are right me. here, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So you were button up because of, of who we was interviewing today? No, nah, it's because I came fresh from work. Maybe I come get another check to come get another check. Ne- I've never <laughs> seen you with a button up. Exactly. It's part of the job. <laughs> nah, I like, he's like, I told him who you were. <laughs> I told him who your pops was, so he wore a button up. No disrespect, but I wouldn't even give a fuck. I don't wear what I'm I want. Not, I never <laughs> seen this, man. I never seen your Mario. Have you ever seen him with a button up? It looks fresh, so that's <laughs> all that matters. Oh, you yeah. better go to the salsa night. <laughs> oh, shout out to Michael Kors, man. Let's look fly, baby. <laughs> well, fuck it. But we got a special guest in the building. We got, we got, we got royalty. Can we say royalty? New Jersey royalty. New Jersey royalty. We I got. Like that. We got the one and only Josh Murphy, also known as Phil Murphy's son, the governor of New Jersey. Dirty Jersey, baby. The governor. I don't know how to say that. What, what <laughs> possessed g- you to come sit here <laughs> with us? <laughs> I what love made Mike, you, wanna, you know? <laughs> I, I want to see his You stuff. could be anywhere in the world, literally. <laughs> anywhere. You want to come sit here with us? Yeah, and listen, I... I see you on World Star. I've been following World Star for a long time. Oh, shout out to World Star. That's the yeah. family right there. Yeah, I love World Star. And then, you know, I followed you on Instagram and then we just linked up on Instagram and it sounded like a fun time. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sounds like fun. <laughs> here I am. I'm not going to lie. I was taking bets. I'm like, yo, Josh ain't pulling up to the hood. Josh ain't pulling up to the hood. <laughs> I didn't think he was pulling up to the hood. I told Mario, he's not pulling up to Elizabeth, New Jersey. I pulled up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you had a sound effect. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 Yo, he said, I pulled up. And he came with his hitter. Look. <laughs> came with My his boy hitter. Ben right? here, he's running security. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yo, this Secret Service right here, don't get it fucked up. <laughs> One little call, we have this whole place swat coming in. Yeah, it might not look like much, but you know, it <laughs> packs that a punch. knows more fight moves than Batman. Facts. <laughs> but yo, we got Josh Murphy in the building. Tell us, man, how was it growing up as a governor's son? Well, you know, before before I was he was governor, he was uh, ambassador uh, over in Germany. So I kind of had that experience from being really young of being in the spotlight. Actually, like they would have uh, dinner parties. My parents like. Well, hold every- on, we we can't just pass. ambassador. Yeah, yeah. I be I be watching Hollywood movies. That shit is like crazy. Ambassador. Yeah, he's uh, he was Obama's representative in Germany. Oh, oh shit. shit! So you lived in the embassy. 
No, we actually in in a lot of them you live in the embassy, but in Berlin we had our own house on the on the side. So oh, in Berlin. Yeah. How long I you lived in Berlin? Berlin? Four years. So you know how to speak German? I speak German. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't speak German, but that was right. Yeah, that was that's right, what he though. said. He got that right. He said, "Do you speak German?" Oh, uh, I thought yeah. he said, "Bitch ass niggas." <laughs> <laughs> bitch ass niggas. Gotta sit here with these bitch ass niggas. <laughs> what's what's kurva? Kurva, that's Polish, but oh, that's Paul. that's it's a bad word in Polish. I don't know different, exactly different, what different it means, but mm. shout out to my yeah. ex. <laughs> Close though. <laughs> but uh, damn, so four years. Wait, so when when I'm not the smartest man on earth, but what's the steps? before mayor becomes before governor right so there's no like you don't have to like do anything in any certain order but generally like people are either career politicians so they'll be like running for some office uh some local office and then they build up and then at some point if you want to run for it you try and run for governor or like a senator type position um but with ambassador it's kind of different because you either work your whole life in uh the state department so you're basically moving around every four years like a lot of my friends in in germany were like state department kids so they they had lived in like crazy places um and you're only somewhere for like four years max mm -hmm. but my dad he was the finance chairman of the uh democratic party um that helped get obama elected wow. so it was kind of like a I think it was kind of like a thank you. <laughs> in other words, you're welcome, black like, people. Hey, good looks. Yeah. In other words, you're welcome, black people. <laughs> my pops, my pops helped y'all out. <laughs> so in Germany, you went to school out there and everything. I'm assuming. Yeah. Did were you homeschool? No, we went to an international school. Um, oh, okay. So there Exclusive. were a lot of a lot of German kids there still with money, um, like you. Yeah. With the oh, the German kids with money were there, oh. but then uh, a lot of State Department kids would just be sent there by the various embassies. So it was kind of controversial actually, because normally every other ambassador to Germany had sent their kids to the John F. Kennedy International School, mm. but I don't know for whatever reason my parents decided to switch. Maybe they were just trying to be controversial. I don't know. <laughs> but we went to. Uh, the Berlin Brandenburg International School, which is no no other kids. So that was like right when we got there, it was like, why is he sending his kids mm. over there? Um, I think they just liked it more, honestly. I, I loved it. I had a great time. Is it cold out there? It's so cold. Yeah, when I see, I'm thinking of my shooting games, James Bond. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> it was always in the it was winter time. It would Golden be cold, Golden but then it doesn't snow really. Like, it'll just be really cold, but there will only, only, at least in Berlin, like, you only get a little bit of snow, but the snow doesn't go away. I've seen a documentary on Netflix of prisons in Germany. Bro, compared to ger prisons in the USA, we got it good. The way they treat motherfuckers over there is crazy. From leaving your cell, you got to bend over, you get handcuffed behind, and they don't let you look. Or not. You got to walk, like, oh, man. bent over. I'm like, what? Just just for that? Just to go to so to another situation? I'm another glad place. I never ended up in, in jail over there. <laughs> oh, no. Nah, I bet you got a jail a free car unlimited. Yeah, <laughs> diplomatic <laughs> immunity. Yeah. That's how they call it? Yeah. And That's you're the crazy. oldest or the youngest? Yeah, I'm the oldest. You're the oldest? Yeah. And how many are you? There are four of us. So I'm the oldest, then my sister, and then my two brothers. Oh, so there's three brothers and one, one sister. Must oh. be hard for her, yeah. yeah but she's tough. She's, yeah, she's tough. she's tough because of it, yeah. Gotta be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, doesn't, she doesn't take any shit, no. that's for sure, yeah. And what, what made y'all come from Germany all the way to New Jersey? How y'all end up in New Jersey? Well, we were in New Jersey before Germany. Oh, okay. So, so y'all was almost like born and raised. Yeah. I, well, I was born in, in Virginia, actually, but that's just because that's where my mom was from, and she wanted to be around her family. Um, and then... Uh, moved to new jersey when i was pretty young like three or four uh, and then was in new jersey through sixth grade and then moved to germany for a few years and came back to new jersey that's yeah. lit and um um you finished high school in new jersey i ended up going to boarding school because my parents were still in germany when i was in high school so i had to uh go to boarding school i was in massachusetts and what about your brothers now my brother, one of them, um, goes to college in New Jersey. He goes to Princeton. He's the oh, smart yeah. one. Uh, <laughs> the and smart then, one. and then my other brother goes to uh, a Catholic school in our area in um, in Monmouth County. 
Oh, oh lit, lit. The yeah. Murphys. Yeah, the Murphys. <laughs> you still go to school? I just graduated. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I seen the picture. You posted the picture. Yeah, yeah. I liked it too. In my gown. I yeah. like that. Oh, I gotta double tap this. <laughs> Cap and gown. I think I put. I think I put fire emojis. <laughs> I went to Tufts, um, Trinity, and then ended up at Bard. Wait, Trinity? What's Trinity? It's in um, Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, I went to a Trinity in Elizabeth. Different yeah, <laughs> different one. Different, different one. <laughs> <laughs> it closed down now, but yeah. I don't know. Small world. You never know. Yeah. And um, that's crazy. So, who, real quick, who got more stain, the mayor or the governor? Governor. The governor, do right. So it's yeah. the mayor, then you turn governor. Governor, governor's the the top position in the state. It's more top than the senate, a senator. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. So from governor, the only place up is president. Basically. Oh. Well, the governor's like the leading authority in the state, and then like the senators represent the state in Washington. Mm. So, my dad is like the like the president of New Jersey, basically. <laughs> you know, you saw, you saw how he said it, president <laughs> of New Jersey, <laughs> which makes me the first son of New Jersey. Right? That's yeah. crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, well, how hard is it for you? Because I walk around, especially like now during COVID, and it's like I hear. I, I think your father's done a great job, personally. Me, me thank personally. you. I really do. You wasn't saying that uh, yesterday. Fuck out of here. <laughs> um, I really do. I, and if you listen to my other podcasts, I always, I always big them up because I, I it, it, we're in a situation that's not hard to handle. You know what I mean, I mean, it's pretty hard to handle. Pardon me. Um, no one's ever gonna be prepared for what the fuck we just went through. Mm-hmm. Like this shit just lands on your lap, and you got to make do with whatever the fuck it is. Right. Um, but I, I hear a lot of New Jersey people, and they're just pissed off at your dad, and I don't understand why. I'm just not understanding why. Why? Because yeah. the man's taking precautions to save your life. I don't. I don't understand. So I was I'm like, do they give you shit for that too? Oh my god! I can it's, only imagine because I go wild. places and like like Fanduel when we were talking about it. For instance, I'm at the I'm at the horse, um, the racetrack over at the Meadowlands. All those old fucks got nothing positive to say about your dad. Yeah. They're all mad that they got to wear their masks. Like, dude, if anything, he's, not, he's helping all you old fuckers right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's not really us who needs to wear the, the mask. The irony like when it's, those it's people crazy. are mad. And I don't understand. Like, you, so many people in New Jersey are mad. Oh, he stopped the indoor dining for a while. Dude, you'd rather get fucking sick? I, I'm, I'm not understanding yeah, the logic. I don't know if you guys have some Snapchat, but uh, <laughs> the protesters are... Uh, we get protested. Do you really? The other the other day, they were Wait, like... protesters at your house every day? Nah, like oh. once a week. <laughs> it's it. like a I Sunday type thing mm. for them. Who linked like, the Addy? They're crazy. They, they, Send I don't them the Addy a hundred them down. No, I don't, yeah, know who, right. I don't know who leaked that, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's been leaked. So. Yeah. Yeah. And they'll, sometimes we also live on the water. One of your sister's they'll, boyfriends. They'll protest the on the me? water. Bet. Oh, yeah, that's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I just I don't understand. So I was like, I know, like I hear them talking shit. I'm like, I know that there's no way that you can walk down the street and someone's not gonna say. Yeah, that's I think how, it's that, funny though. Like they're you know? so ignorant. Like it's like they don't uh, like it's crazy. To, it's so crazy that you would be protesting, saving lives. That yeah. it's like I can't even take it seriously. Like I just bump. I turn on some like clown and music like Katy Perry or something and just like roll by them yeah I look at other states and I see the way it was poorly handled and the way like look at fucking Florida look at Georgia like these people are in the fucking club still you know what I mean Texas and here it was like your dad was like no we're not playing that shit shut the shit the fuck down and that's the reason why we haven't been able um gone into another fucking lockdown but if if you see we weren't forced to have to go back inside Best. Yeah. But if you see today what his dad did, he let indoor dining back open. Yeah. yeah. For it's gonna be for Friday. Yeah, Friday. Then all the gym yeah. fucks too. They they pissed me off too. Like all these oh, that was little crazy. fucks. I'm like, oh, you I'm guys one of them, bro. For real? I'm one of them. I, I, I ain't me gonna too. Lie. Can you tell right now? <laughs> Every chance I could, I went, I went somewhere. There was a situation with Powerhouse, where the owners didn't give a fuck, so they <laughs> opened up, and. It was no, you know, well, I could say it now because, you know, they got closed down already, but there wasn't wearing masks, and it was, like, way over than what they were supposed to have. I didn't care, though. I was desperate to lift. So when I was there, cops would come, Linden police would come every day to give them a fine. And and I'm cool with the owner, so he'd come up to me like, he's looking at it, I'm like, what happened? Another $5,000 fine, I don't care. All thanks to Phil Murphy. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm like... 
Hey, man. Fuck and it. then eventually, I know your dad tweeted something out and was like, yeah, we're going to shut Powerhouse down if you guys keep fucking around. Like yeah, and he did because I go to the, I went the, the next day. Yeah. I'm like, hey, yo, Bob, you know there's news, news people out there? Oh, I know. They came in for a comment. I said, no, now they're interviewing people that's leaving. Did they interview you? I'm like, nah. Yo, they ask you? I'm like, nah, I already got I ain't going to say. I don't, I'm not interviewing nobody. I'm not going to in, get interviewed. The next day, it was Telemundo. I'm like, yo, you know you got Telemundo out there? <laughs> <laughs> the Spanish Channel. Oh, man. The next day was Thursday. Yo, you know you got Channel 12 out there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, man. To the point where I went Friday, it was like 12 cop cars. <laughs> it was over. They, like, your mic, they got me. <laughs> they got, I forgot who, it was the state. $30,000 deep already in fines. They're like, yo, this is the one. This is yeah, the one. He We're said they got yeah. the big, big dog on me. I'm like, mm-hmm. damn. So we got to shut down. And he put it on Instagram and all that. I'm like, fuck. At least it lasted. It lasted a good three weeks. And then I went back down to being weak again. I, just, I, I, I didn't understand. That's why I was like, you know what? You're sitting here. Let me ask you, man. Yeah. Just not I don't really understand. Do you, I don't does understand your pops either. ever have weekly meetings about yeah. this? Yeah. Oh, I say that because my dad, yeah. when I used yeah. to live with my dad yeah. and his, 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 um, I don't want to say stepmom, but his wife. Um, we would have weekly meetings. Like every, it was every Wednesday. It was, a, it was annoying. But now that I don't live there, it's like damn, I kind of miss him. Like yeah. it would be okay, everyone, 8 p.m. Wednesday. You know what it is? <laughs> call my little brother. Call um, my stepsister. Me. We'll sit down and we'll talk. And my dad's a pastor, so with with the whole, he'll talk about what his his. You knew who was getting kicked out of the chorus for such and such or mm-hmm. who was going to get replaced or who was going to, you knew already because he'll talk about it as a family. So you'll go that Friday looking at the guy like, well, you about to get kicked out. <laughs> I can't see nothing, but you about to get replaced. <laughs> so is it like that with your meetings? Like, okay, I'm thinking about doing this, this, and this to New Jersey. What y'all think? Like with me involved? With well, the whole family. Nah. No. I wish. I wish I could just be like a <laughs> daily meeting. I'm like, all right, like your decision Tyler, time. Get decision ready. Time. <laughs> to the boys. <laughs> we getting shut down as well. <laughs> like, don't yo, Josh, don't go in your group chat. <laughs> so he doesn't talk. No, he. D- I mean, he'll he'll talk to me like if I ask him specifics or. But like he he wouldn't really like be like venting a problem and be like I need some advice. Like he he would go to his team for that. Oh, okay. But if I like have a question, like sometimes we'll get into a talk and I'll give him some advice. Like um, even before all this, I was like you know maybe lay off of Trump a little because it's like kind of a broken record when all the Democrats are just going at it and maybe just like <laughs> you tell your pops lay off Trump <laughs> yeah and he was like you know what? that's that's probably you're probably right I was like when you're going after them like go after the administration don't make it like personal like don't point it straight at Trump and now like they have a a good relationship and that's helped New Jersey a lot in the so like he'll he'll listen if it's good advice but he doesn't solicit the advice like he's not yeah, going yeah. out and asking for it's advice. it's funny because i remember trump tweeting about your dad a few times yeah a couple times. i remember like during the pandemic and of course it was negative and it was just how, how does that feel like you waking up and the president's talking about your pops he would tweet negative about new jersey but never really negative about my dad he would be like yeah i mean, my dad also he doesn't really care like i don't know he's he's a he's super cool either. like he's just like he's like whatever if they want to talk they can talk yeah you know? yeah he doesn't care your dad seems like a chill dude i remember um i get invited to a lot of concerts right and a lot of events and i remember i got invited to a certain um 80s um concert and it um we have a we have a theater here called the ritz it's very old it's been out longer than me and they had a concert there Mm-hmm. And it was just 80s people. And I remember the promoter was like, yo, Mike, I know, I know you're not a big 80s fan, but, like, pull up. You know, there's nobody that you know now. And um, but I, I pull up, and I, I checked the flyer out. It was Big Daddy Kane. It was Biz Marquee. Mm. It was um, Rakim. It was, um, it was Eric B. It was, it was a lot of the old, old legends. So like, I pull up. I know, I know a lot of these people. I know the songs like that, but I, I, you know, the only thing that was missing was L. Cool J. Mm-hmm. But L. Cool J was this. I pulled up, I was backstage, you know, Rakim pulled up, Biz Marquee, Big Daddy Kane. I'm like, oh, and it was Pat. I'm looking, you know, on stage. I looked through the stage, it was Pat. I'm like, wow. Like, you know, people still come out for these. And I remember I was backstage and we was just there. I'm not gonna tell y'all what we was doing, but we was feeling nice <laughs> in one of the rooms. 
and Rakim, we was in Rakim's room. And Rakim, that was like, out of everybody, he was like the one I wanted to see because I'm like, yo, he's dope. Like, he reminds me of, like, of Pac a little bit. Like, his attitude, his style, he was gooned up. Everybody was dressed nice. He was with Tim, black Tims, black pants, baggy, and a big black, white, uh, black tee and a do-rag and a, a so big cool. leather jacket, a black leather jacket. And he was just chilling, smoking. <laughs> he was panicing it around. And then um, it was funny because while we was back there, we kept hearing him talk like, Everybody clear the hallway, clear the hallway. I don't know what the fuck going on. And your pops walk in. He was there. He, he walked in. And I never forget when he saw Rakim, his face lit up like, oh, Rakim, what's up, dog? Like he tried to, real quick, trying to like let him know. I'm with y'all. And you could tell it was a, a dude in a suit, look like him. And that's his oh, And I'm telling my man, that's secret, that's secret service. You could tell he had the, he had the, the USA flag pin. Just follow him everywhere, like, oh, like yo, you could tell he's with strapped. the earpiece, with the yeah. earpiece, like, oh, he's yeah. strapped. You could tell he's strapped. Your dad listens to old hip hop. My dad likes old hip hop. Yeah, he's I really was close with Eric B. Oh, he's, really? I, I'm actually really close with Eric B too. I love Eric B. Oh, really? That's yeah, he's dope. he's a man. I'm um, telling you, your dad. All I'm gonna say is he knew his shit. Yeah, he was backstage with him, and and it's funny because it smelled like nothing but weed in that bitch. I know your dad smelled it. But he was like, yo, uh, let's Ignores take a flick. it. Yeah, he know? ignored it. Let's take a flick. I don't smell nothing. Let's take this flick. He was like. <laughs> I remember I said what's up to him and he did one of those, like, yeah, yeah, okay. Rakim. So, yo, I grew up with your music. Oh man, you don't understand. Rakim was just like, word, word. <laughs> Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Word. Love. Love. Like, yeah, like, and I was just like, wow. Phil Murphy's in the building. Like, we lit. Like, this is lit. Like, we got the governor in this bitch. That's and so he stayed funny. throughout the whole concert. He was front row, just killing it. And then when Biz Marquis, he was like, and you say I'm just a friend. Your dad was in the front. Like, My dad man. loves that song. Yeah, he, he was, loves that song. Him and your mom was just, it was dope to see, like, yo, hip hop really, like, it was, hip hop is, hip hop, like, this is why I love hip hop. Yeah, and, brings people together. Yeah, yeah and um, I remember seeing that, and I was just like, wow. So your dad's a big hip-hop fan, I'm assuming, after seeing that. Yeah, I mean, he's. I think he's probably more of a rock guy just because that's what he was, like, really growing up with. But he, he loves hip-hop, and he loves, like, the older stuff. Like, he's so funny. Like, we, we went um, to the Apollo Theater um, for... Eric B and Rakim, Rakim getting back together, get, performing for like the first time in however long. And they asked my dad to open up the performance. Like Eric B called him and like super big deal. Like my dad was getting super excited for it. He put on like a cool outfit. He was, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and he's like, we roll up and it's me and my dad. And we're the only two white people there. And like <laughs> my dad's cool outfit was not that cool. <laughs> and you remember what he wore? Yeah, he was wearing like a rainbow button down shirt with like. <laughs> looking like my, my, my man Lou here. <laughs> with like <laughs> faded gray jeans. But no, I, he was looking. I told him he was looking good. And then he gets up there to speak and he's used to like these political speech, oh, like bro. speeches where he's like. But this is a whole like, different crowd. <laughs> yeah, you know, he gets up there and the guy's like. Fuck you, man! Like oh, we hate you. And the he's like, the guy, this guy in the middle, just heckling him, and my dad like doesn't know what to do, and he's like, hmm, <laughs> <laughs> like trying to like get his man. thoughts together. Obama. <laughs> <laughs> and he just talked like they were talking at the same time. Like at this, the guy was screaming, so they were like the same noise the level. Security too. in this place, like of the building. Yeah, I don't think they really cared. I mean, the guy wasn't doing anything; he was just heckling, and my dad was just on stage being really like. <laughs> weird about it it was so funny well, what was the heck was saying just like fuck you just like we hate you like you're the worst blah 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 and my like, dad just like this state. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yo, he wasn't right now <laughs> Yo, <laughs> fact, i'm not from new york <laughs> we were in new york <laughs> it was funny yell at andrew <laughs> what's wrong with you <laughs> i came here to my light work <laughs> that's crazy but i mean yeah. you should have well how old were you i was like 20 at the time. Probably, probably. should have told you There ain't no people in suits. Yeah. <laughs> most, most of them, most, most of them were goons in this bitch. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, I probably would have known what it is. I, I would have just said your mama. <laughs> right yeah. there. Uh, yo, fuck you. Your mama. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what you, we got Eric B and Rakim. That's what was going down, like, basically. And then my dad was like, you know, I can't do this anymore. Like, Eric B and Rakim, like, thank you. <laughs> Get on the stage. <laughs> That's funny, but yeah. um, it happens, man. Like when you when you're that person on top, 
Yeah, and I bet you he was probably mad because he wasn't the one announcing Rakim next. So it'd be like that. Yeah. But um, anything you want to add to that, Lou? How <laughs> we gonna do that? Oh, no, that's, <laughs> what? I'm just saying you want to add. <laughs> nah, nah, that's what I said. Nah, and um, I remember when I was um searching you up, like doing my little research on Josh Murphy. Um, I found and came across this viral video. <laughs> You're laughing already. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's a good well, one. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, you knew I had to bring it up. You knew I had to bring it up. It was um. Well, you want to tell it? Well, yeah, so my dad was getting inaugurated. Uh, as the governor of New Jersey. As the governor. Um, and the day before, like, it was a big, big deal. So we had to go the day before and, like, block it out. And, like, there's tape down. They're like, you guys all stand here. So, like, I'm standing there and, like, we're going through it. And there's a screen up there. And I'm looking at the screen. I'm like, is that the video feed that's going to be going tomorrow? And the guy's like, yeah, like, that's the exact feed. So I'm like, okay. Like, <laughs> I got a little angle here to do something. And then, like, I was thinking about it. I could do, like, the little circle game thing. Not much else I could do. It's happening. It's a big day. I'm really nervous. Like, in reality, I'm sitting there. I'm like, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. And then he's finishing up, and I was like, whatever. I'm just going to do it. Throw it. The little circle game, you know, like, from Malcolm in the middle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, uh, and I, like, throw it and pick it up immediately. I'm like, okay, like, maybe some of my friends saw that that are watching. Like, that would be cool. <laughs> Then I see the feed like on our way out of the inauguration and it's like front and center like on me and I'm like shit I'm going I'm going viral for this. <laughs> so my parents weren't really that mad until Daily Mail the next day was like he's throwing up a white power symbol oh, which is just man. ridiculous. They're gonna, you know you should have known Bloggers was going to do that. I know. I but Barstool Barstool wrote an article and defended me. But he did? Yeah. Barstool's cool. I fuck with Barstool. Yeah me too. So Barstool's picked it up too? Barstool, TMZ. I think I've seen it on World Star. World Star. Uh, I was like, hey, mom and dad, remember that game that like we used to play when we were younger? Like, Which you one? Like, the one that we could only play at the house? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, and they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. And I was like, I just did it to the whole state. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, hold on. And what? then when they read yeah. the Daily Mail title. Josh, open uh, up. Yeah, we a day talk. later, they're like, this was not funny. <laughs> yeah, this was not it. This was not yeah. it. Barstool called him a straight assassin. Yeah. Cold-blooded. Cold-blooded assassin. <laughs> they know the game. So yeah, it's they like, get it. Right, that game, game to the day, I've gotten caught a few times in the World Star. It was one where my man's hand was stuck in the sand, and everybody was like, oh, my God, get it out, get it out. And the uh -huh, moment yeah. got out, he was like, ugh. I'm like, fuck, you got me. Uh, uh, <laughs> Usually I don't get caught with those, but. The whole thing is what? If you're doing it like this, the person pokes it. Yeah, then they get to punch you. Yeah, but if you catch it. them, then you get to punch them like yeah, 10 yeah. times. We have one in Spanish. It's just like this. Oh, this shit, yeah. <laughs> this is what it is. Yeah. I remember we used to do it in church, but not in an inauguration. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you topped yeah. me with that one. <laughs> so like, as of now, I now honor you as governor of New Jersey. <laughs> It was the timing like was right as he was shaking the hand too, like of the like judge who was swearing him in. Mm -hmm. But that's crazy. And um, speaking of other um, viral videos, I know there was a scandal going on. Um, I I didn't really look into it that much. Um, you can help me. It was something about your sister and a wedding. It's so funny, dude. This well, is what was that so about? Funny. This random rumor got started that my sister, who's literally just turned 21 and is like goody two shoes like goes to uva um this i don't know who started it this rumor started on twitter that she was getting married and like she's allowed to get married indoors but like no one else she's getting married indoors in two weeks but no one else in the state is allowed to be indoors so I've like so many of these bullshit rumors yeah. and it like blew up and like people are calling congratulating my dad <laughs> like congrats on like I didn't legit, know she was like legit people are like hey um uh, governor like just wanted to say congratulations on your daughter's wedding and he's like oh my god like she's not getting married <laughs> like she's 21 yeah i remember seeing him like wedding and i looked i'm like she looks too young so i didn't know what was going on yeah so, oh that's what it was that they they was said that she so was getting funny. wedding um she was getting married when she wasn't it was like a, it has been a running joke in my family, but it got, it actually got so, I don't know how it got so big. Like people were posting Yo, pictures. someone's leaking shit from you. Yo, it's my man. Is it? <laughs> my man. Is it this man? 
<laughs> no, but your mom said that she played it off like really cool though, right? Yeah. She was like posting on her Instagram. Like, yeah, my sister posted. Yeah. Oh. My sister posted like a screenshot of the tweets being like, Emma Murphy getting married, da da da. And then like with her boyfriend, she was like, I guess we're getting married. <laughs> I've seen that one. Yeah. I've seen that one. She was being funny That's about what, it. See, I'm an idiot because I believed it. That's like, oh, they are getting married. Oh, well, fuck <laughs> it. But now you're telling me it was a rumor, and I'm like, oh, okay. Like I a see. crazy rumor. Like, I don't know how it started. It was just a crazy When you're in the public, in the public eye, shit like that comes up all the time. Yeah. All the time, man. Um, I've gone through it, and then I know I'm going to keep going through it the bigger I get. So you definitely, being the governor's son, that's not, you know, at least that's something, you know, okay. Yeah. Not crazy. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, but even if it was true, hey, man, like if you want to have an indoor wedding, become the governor. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's the way I see it. Like, could I go through it too? Because I was telling you, my uncle owns like all these nightclubs. And it's like, oh, why does he get to cut the line? What does he like, bro? Get an uncle that owns all these nightclubs and <laughs> fuck like certain people get special treatment because of that. Like your position, you can't get mad. Yeah, I feel like to a certain extent, like within like a reasonable amount, that's okay. But I also feel like, like we also get treated specially anyway, like because of of our dad's position. So like, I don't know. I never like to be like taking any favors or feeling like I'm getting like uber special treatment because it just makes me uncomfortable you know it makes me yeah, feel kind of um it's oh it's uh, the worst called overwhelming I feel like that too I've gotten used to it because my boys would be like man you worked you worked hard to entertain these motherfuckers you know fuck it uh -huh. I remember when I first started getting booked I'll be embarrassed to be like bro just give me fifty dollars Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm also like, bro, eight hundred. <laughs> Talk to my manager. Yeah. But like, I get what you're saying. The beginning was overwhelming. Like, I didn't know I could get paid for this. Like, now I understand there's entertainment and it's like something like you know yeah. people will pay to see where all the bullshit that's happening in the world. You feel, you feel me? Yeah. But also like you made yourself like you were doing your own thing like making your content. Like I feel like it's even weirder like when it's like your dad. You know. Exactly. So like for me it's like I don't like. If he, if this weren't my dad, no one would look twice, you know, because I haven't done anything to to earn that yet. So it just feels kind of weird sometimes. Um, but I mean, I like I said, we were in Germany with the with the spotlight on us, so I've kind of lived like this kind of for long enough that it's kind of normal now. But it's still weird sometimes. I don't know if it was Star Ledger where I read an article. They were talking about you, and I think it was your brothers and everybody. They were basically saying like, you know, politicians' kids are not the ones that should be under the microscope. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess they were heavy on you guys. I don't know yeah. what it was. And I think it, uh, it might have been NJ.com or the Star Ledger. They wrote a whole article saying how basically they needed to fall the fuck back from. Why are you whispering? Guys. I'm not. I'm talking right in the mic. Oh, it's <laughs> like, it's mad low, so I'm like. You're right, you sitting right there. No. Oh, yeah? yeah. Right. That's what I'm saying. I'm talking, I'm so talking why you, right. Why you whisper? <laughs> you're, you're, so, you're, you're so used to fucking yelling at everybody. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. So, but I was, I, reading, I was reading that article, um, and I, I thought the same shit. I'm like, I don't understand. And I guess, you know, politics, could, uh, I guess it's nasty. It's a nasty world. It really is, yeah. especially when you're running for a position. But they they wrote this whole article. You know, I'm not gonna go through it, but it was basically them saying, I don't know, you re you had did you catch a DWI or something like that? It wasn't DWI, but, but yeah, that was, it but was, yeah, it was something in that just that they were talking about. And they're basically saying, I guess they gave you the run of the mill for it or whatever the case uh -huh. was. I didn't I didn't know anything of it until I read the article, and the guy was basically saying, yo, you guys need to fall back from fucking with, with the kids that are, you know, uh, the the politicians' kids. They have nothing to do with what the fuck their parents are doing. Mm -hmm. And they, I guess they made, they were trying to make a shit show out of whatever situation you had gotten yeah. into. Yeah, and that's just like, I guess we ex we expect that to a certain extent, yeah. but also it's just like annoying, like. It has to be. Kid, like, if I get too drunk, it's like a story. But like, if like. If we get too but drunk. But it's like any 23 year old. <laughs> it's lit. You get fucked up. It's, 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 you know what I mean? It's yeah. Look at Josh Murphy over there on top of that table dancing like a damn fool. <laughs> <laughs> but seeing who your father is, it's like they look at you like you're not allowed to do it. Yeah. And I, I don't understand why. I'd be like, why the fuck? Not? Reminds still a regular yeah, fucking person, dude. No, nah, that's facts. And it's like, you're young. I remember the same thing with Obama's um, sis um, sister, Obama's daughter. She was smoking a little joint and it caught her. Oh, yeah, and that was viral. Everywhere. It was all over, and it's just right. like her. And it's like, damn, man. Like, she was at a festival with her friends. Like that. But it's people in that crew that's like snitching. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, because I've sure. seen the Snap pics, 
<laughs> sell it to TMZ uh -huh. for a little. Real quick. Yeah. Real quick. That's why you gotta be really careful with who's around you. Yeah, you know? facts. Yep. That's facts. Yeah. <laughs> this man. guy over here, he's I, only I, I feel like he leaked the ad. He's <laughs> only leaking some stuff over <laughs> here, you know. I wish someone's cool, Team, but TMZ gave me a quick little ten G's. <laughs> <laughs> Make your money, Brad. <laughs> a little side money. <laughs> a little leak. But uh, have your dad ever spoke to you and your sons like, listen, be careful out there. And yeah. he gave you that talk? I'm All assuming. the time. Yeah, he, he's always like, I mean, he like I said, like he's been giving that talk to us since we were in Germany. Because yeah. he's like, look, like in Germany, it would be really dramatic because we were younger. And he's like, we are like our family represents America in this country. Like however you act is like how people think of. Americans, so I'm like, whoa, like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> let me try and pull it together here. <laughs> Bring out the Jack Daniel, yeah. Dad. <laughs> but um, no, he he says that a lot. He's just like, be smart, like, be careful, um, be smart, and haven't always been smart about it. And then he gets pissed. <laughs> but uh, generally, like, it's pretty reasonable. And I I don't like, I don't get mad about it. It's not like I'm sitting there like whining about it. Like, I can't do anything about it. Like I'd just rather be smart. And, and when you go out, do you go out with security in a big black truck or just normal? No, no, I don't go. Well, when like just me, no, I don't. Um, but when I'm with my dad, yes. But with just me, I mean, that's like what that would attract the attention. You know, like that yeah, would be exactly. too much. Like yeah. I, I thought you was gonna pull up with, with a big black truck and one of them dudes from that concert that night. He's outside. Oh, he's like, oh, oh that's who, that's who parked the car? Yeah. Oh. yeah. <laughs> no wonder, because I'm like, yo, when you said I'm here, I'm like, yo, there's a parking garage down the side, and now I'm getting dropped off. I'm like, dropped off? <laughs> like, yeah, but then I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting driven back after. Oh, so, now it makes sense. It makes sense. Huh? Oh, he's waiting in there with the strap. <laughs> that's all of a sudden, did you ever, like, ask yourself how much you're worth if you ever got kidnapped? Not as much as people would think, <laughs> I feel like. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> that's a good question. I don't want to know, like, too. Like, yo, like, you, you know your worth. That's a good question. I li I probably would way highball myself. I'd be like, I'm worth at least 150 Like, right now, if this wasn't an interview, like, yo, <laughs> this is if this was an interview, like, ah, right, yo, Josh, come with us. <laughs> like, yeah, I'd be like. Call your pops right now. <laughs> yeah, oh, Eric, that's. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> He talking about Eric being Rakim. Call your pops and tell him that Eric's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Should have came inside with you. you know I'm saying I give it up to Josh. Like yo, I'm like that's why I'm like Josh ain't pulling up to the hood. We're in Elizabeth, New Jersey. My man pulled up. Like yo, wait, side door or front door? I'm like oh. <laughs> yeah. Like, yo, is there a chicken shack around here we can go to? <laughs> the equalizer in the car. Yeah. Oh shit. But um, mm. well I'll say like what five hundred thou. I'd like. I'd hope more. I don't know. Like a oh, mil. That's a Nah. I don't, don't know. throw the number out there. Somebody might try it. Uh, yeah. I'm just saying, <laughs> rush hour. Fifty million dollars. Who think you kidnapped Chelsea Clinton? <laughs> a milli, boom, a milli. Okay, really? I guess we can settle on that for now. <laughs> then, like, hopefully, we'll up. Mario that. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. I would think about that shit. I'm like, damn, man. I'm worth a mil, two mil, three mil. I got, you know. I don't want to want my pops getting that ransom letter. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's yeah, crazy. I haven't thought about that too much, but maybe I should think about that yeah. a little bit. Because you do got younger um, younger siblings. Yeah. So it's like, and you're the oldest, so you got to like set the example. And everything you're going through is, is new to you too. Mm -hmm. That's why I was asking about the whole schooling thing. I was assuming it would have been homeschooled or, yeah, you never went to public, right? No, we never, never did, no. I figured. But... I mean, the international school in, in Germany is kind of like, I guess it's private for like Germans, but it's not like really private for the international kids, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay. So like, so like my group of American friends from the, like in the international school would always like make fun of me for having gone to a private school before that. <laughs> because, you know, like when they lived in the States, like a lot of them would live in like Virginia or like just outside of Washington, D.C. at some point in their life. Um, and so like with the international schools, it's just like, if you're with the state department, then you get in. So it's kind of like, it's an in-between a private and a public kind of. And you being the oldest, have you ever got pulled over and used the whole, my pops is Phil Murphy. I would never do that. No. But one time I got pulled over and, uh, the guy was like, you're on your phone. And I was like, I'm not going to lie to you. I really don't like Drake. And a Drake song came on. 
and I just had to switch it. <laughs> and, and I just said that like immediately to the guy and the guy just like looked at me for a second and then just started laughing and he was like, all right, you can go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like drink either, go. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. That's I mean, you, you was on it. <laughs> I was just like, listen, that's what happened. Like, was he uh, young too? Yeah. He was all right. Yeah, he, so. was cool. <laughs> he looked at you like, He's like, is this kid being serious? And then he's like, all right, he is. That's pretty funny. Yeah, <laughs> like, right. you can go. He's like, you can't make this shit up. <laughs> well, what about somebody who, like, uh, I don't care. I don't give a fuck about Drake. Um, license and registration. Go, come back. Here you go. You didn't go. Any of those? Uh, n- one time, kind of. The guy came back and was like, I'm letting you off with, like, a warning. And then, like, as he was walking away, he was like, by the way, I like your dad. And then, like, <laughs> I'm like, yes. cool, okay, that's the warning right there. Yes. But, no, that's not, like, I've been pulled over since that and not gotten, like, any sort of special. I, I got screwed over, in fact, when I got pulled over. I got this guy pulled me over and said he got me speeding over a county border, so he gave me a ticket from each county. Oh, oh shit. shit. And I'm like, dude. And when he left, by the way, I hate your dad. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, fuck. <laughs> That's probably Works what it both was. Ways. <laughs> yeah. Works both ways. Works both ways. Each county, damn. Yeah, it was cruel. What county was this? It was in New York, but just oh. in New York. And oh, uh, I was just driving to school. Like, I didn't I didn't even realize I was Did you I mention it to him? My dad? No, yeah. like, yeah, what he said. Oh, no, did I mention the, who my dad? No, I say I never do that. Like, I would never do that. It seems, like, really douchey to me to just, like, yeah. try and pull out that card. I wouldn't have know? my dad's picture in the front of my Talk to him. <laughs> <laughs> no, talk to him. Like, no, I would never, I never uh, do that. Well, you, you mentioned it to your dad, though, right? Oh, yeah, he found out. Yeah, yeah what he say? He he was pissed at me, but he was also, like, <laughs> no, he, was pissed. With you, <laughs> he was pissed at both, honestly. Yeah. He was, like, annoyed yeah, that, with that me shit. for speeding, but then he's, like, what's this guy? He's county? Why would he do that to you? And I'm, like, I don't know. He was angry. Did, angry. did you go to court with him at, to settle it? Yeah. With your dad? No, not with my dad, uh. no. But I figured it I figured it out. It was just so annoying. I had to take a course. <laughs> And what do you mean you don't like Drake? What's some of that? Drake's cool. I we were, he's he just I love British rap, and he just consistently is trying to steal the British rap flow. Man, you basically calling him a culture vulture. Culture vulture, yeah. And he's, he's done it to he's done it to other places too. Like yeah, other he. Genres too. Yeah, I mean, he, if you're trying to get it. superstar status, you're gonna have to go to every every genre if you really think about it. Yeah, no, I listen, he makes good music. I just I just don't like him. I don't know. I don't I think that I don't like how he kind of just like steals things and just like claims them for his. Like he's a Toronto Raptors huge Toronto Raptors fan rapping about the Golden State Warriors chilling in his pool. I'm like, "What are you a Raptors fan? Like get the Raptors by your pool." He, he's, he owns a percentage of that thing too. Of the of the he Raptors, built, right? He, he built, built the OVO he, arena yeah, or whatever. Yeah, he built them that shit, the training facility, yeah. all of that. I'm like, how are you gonna be repping other teams he in your songs? For them too. But hey, that's flexing right there. I guess I don't know. If I were on the Raptors, I'd be like, damn, why is he? <laughs> why is he? <laughs> why didn't invite me? <laughs> why is he chilling with the Warriors? Like we're about to play them in the playoffs at some point. I get what you're saying. I, I mean, I've heard that before, but. I mean, everyone got their own opinion on it, I guess. Yeah. But it's just crazy how the governor's son said, I would like Drake. Yeah. He's probably going to DM you like, what did I do to you? Uh, no, he <laughs> did nothing to me. He just, you know, I just I just feel like he just kind of is being a little bit of a culture vulture. I respect it. He obviously is super successful, and he makes music that everybody loves. He's like the gold standard. Yeah. I just like, I like my authentic British rap, and I don't like to hear Drake coming on after faking a British accent. You know? <laughs> oh, ouch. Yeah. So who I, who, I, who I skip it every time he does that shit. I swear yeah, to God. you don't like it either. Every time he does it, it, it fucking makes my blood boil. Yeah, I mean, he's doing so it more and more. Yeah. So what do you expect him to do if he wants to touch every genre? He can rap on the same track as Just, you don't a British voice, rap bro. artist. He doesn't need to start using the British rap vocabulary and yeah. changing and like throwing a. Uh, some in between British accent on there, like. Damn, you've been you've been waiting to let this out. Oh, I I let this out every time I get the opportunity to let this out. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you, you tell me, Brian, like, oh. People are like, yo, I love Drake. I'm like, yo, sit po- down. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got something to say. I got this script lined up. <laughs> I mean, hey, that's music, man. We got we debate. Yeah, that's yeah. debate. I mean, I don't know. I don't agree with you when, when it comes to that, but. I've heard it more, more, more before you said it. Mm-hmm. So, 
So who will be in your top three, like rappers? Let's talk about top three. If you oh, don't yeah. like Drake, obviously Drake is not in your top three. No, he's not. So who's <laughs> he's not in my top five? Oh. <laughs> uh, so who'll be in your top five? Right, well, to top this is what five. I was saying. I love who's in Josh. Rap. Who's in Josh Murphy's top five? Who am I listening to? I don't know if you're gonna even know these guys. Dave, you know, Dave is is a big British rapper. I love him. Skepta, Stormzy, and then let me think about. It. Who do I like from from the states? Yes, yeah, he did. That Those song. are the, oh, also Heady one. I gotta throw Heady one in there at four, and then I love Ti. You like Ti? Yeah. Okay. Ti reminds me of like when I was like first starting when to listen to trapping. rap, and I was like, "Yo, <laughs> this is when sick. you was trapping." <laughs> like my first my first music video was uh, Dead and Gone. Falls. Dead and Gone. Oh, Dead okay. and Gone. Uh, like whenever I see that music video or hear that song, it just takes me right back, you know. With Justin Timberlake. Yeah. Now mine was Twenty Fools. That's a whole little partner's role. Oh, Tiago. Yeah, that was the first time I seen Tiago. Then you making me feel old, then. like dead and gone. I remember those yeah, few years ago. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> but now, for me even, though, now I got an old soul. So I'm just a few years older than you, three years. So dead and gone. I remember. I remember that. That was a good summer. That album was fire. Yeah. Justin Timberlake album. Yeah. yeah. But everybody, so yeah. everybody's British then. That's probably the top. Be the top five. Oh, Who, what about what top five to. American? <sighs> Let's think. Well, I I love old Kanye. Old, but old I Kanye I don't I don't like I don't know. I agree with that one. I mm -hmm. I think like the turning point for me was like Jesus probably like yeah. I liked it still, but like that I don't was, know. It went downhill. It yeah, was I getting agree, I agree weird. With that. I think around Runaway. Yeah, it was. Yeah, after Great Runaway, album. I'm like, all right. I love that Pusha T album, that one um, with More Famous Than Rich on it. Um, oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. I fuck with Pusha T, too. I met him a few times. He's cool. I've he seen, like I don't really know if it was cool on your dude. page or one of your brothers. Um, Yeah, I had P&B Rock. Yeah, I love P&B Rock. That was your yeah. page? Met him, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I fuck with P&B Rock. That's the home. And Busta Rhymes in that Busta same Rhymes? night. Busta Rhymes, he, I saw him live do that thing that he does. Where oh, he just the, like, um, the fast verse? Yeah. Pff, he wild. actually did it? Yeah, he did it. Oh, word. It was crazy. I like. It's crazy how you like P and B rock because not so many people say that. Like, you know, he I, don't. I, I can't stand that motherfucker. Nah, I fuck with him. I can't. I like. I, he's the one that actually started the whole. If it wasn't for P and B rock, it would be no a boogie, no Roddy Rich. Yeah, like that, like kind no of softer, yeah, that singing music. He did side. kind of start that whole Rod Rave. Yeah. Um, Rod Wave type of, you know. So I, I fuck with P and B rock. He did take a break. I don't know where he's gone. Wherever he's at, he can stay there. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, he don't like Drake. You don't like P and B Rock. <laughs> Wherever he's at, you can stay. <laughs> but that was, that was that's a dope top three right there. So you like Ti, Buster Rhymes, and Pusher. Yeah. The only I'm, thing I know about P and B Rock is when he got caught up to, uh, somewhere around his hood and they whooped the shit out of him. It was on video. Oh, it's on video. Oh yeah, it's on. It's on. Uh, I saw it on World Star. Shout out to World Star. I saw I, it on World Star and then it's on YouTube somewhere. I they saw that on World ass. Star too. Oh, you saw it too? How come I didn't see it? Wait, they whooped his ass? Yeah, they whooped his ass. Someone ran up on him and whooped his ass. In, in the car. I don't know for what, but this was years They beat ago. him. Yeah, you actually so beat him up? Yeah, you seen him getting beat the fuck up. Really? Yeah, this was years ago, dude. This is when he first started off. I never saw it. That's crazy. I would have been like, oh, I've seen it. i never seen it. Yeah, yeah, look it up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least I'm not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> nah, his shit was worse. Yeah? Yeah, his shit was way worse. Worse than mine? Yeah, way worse. All right, say I mean, let's, what's the like, you see your video and you can tell you're intoxicated. Oh, okay. PNB, there wasn't no intoxication there. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. He looked like you, too. <laughs> <laughs> I've been it was him. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, because I chill in the hood. I've been, I grew up in the hood all my life. Been around the craziest motherfuckers. And the one time I get my ass whooped on video is a white boy. White Jewish kid. No, he was Portuguese. Portuguese. Oh, I've been around the craziest looking people. Face tattoos. Gun on their lap. And I get my ass whooped by a Portuguese. Motherfucker. The irony. Nah, it was a long story. Long story short, I was smashing this girl. He found out. That's a short story. Yeah, that's a short story. That's the one that Worldstar posted. And um and there's blogs that hate me that changed it up, like to make me look like the asshole. Um the title on World Star was IG comedian Mike Ruger gets beaten up for smashing other dudes girl. Cool. Other blogs that don't like me 
But I do comedian Mike Ruger is beating up for smashing best friend's fiance. Like, oh, he's an asshole. He deserved that. I get the answer to this day. Ha, you really smashed your best friend's wife. You deserve that, you asshole. Uh, oh, and you're not crazy. even funny. I'm like, of course. They go, of course. They try to switch. I forgot the name of that blog. No, they're known too. I starts with an R. Some shit will fuck them. So, yeah, same thing that reminded me with you. Like, Barstool's helped you out, but then you got these people, Daily Mail, hating. It was just like that. World Star, World Star helped you out. Helped me out a lot. They called me. They were like, we just saw the video. What the fuck happened? <laughs> and I told them, like, look, we post your funny videos, but we're going to have to post this one too. Like, but listen, what happened? And I told them, I like, look, I'm right in front of the computer. I'm the editor. I'm going I'm change, to, I'm changing the title as we speak. I do comedian my room. It gets beaten up. That was going to be the title. That's it. But I'm going to put four smashing other dudes girl. I'm like, yeah, that makes me look good. Word. I'm like, All right, I take that. <laughs> All right, it's up. Go look. <laughs> I don't want to go look at it. I already know what it is. <laughs> but yeah, fuck enjoy. It, I mean, it happens. But I'm sure that would never happen to you, right? I don't know. I don't know. What's his name? Eric in the, in the <laughs> truck. <We got> <laughs> is he really outside just chilling? Yeah, I think so. I, I think he's outside chilling. Wait, so he's on payroll. I think so. I'm not. I'm not really. Uh, oh, that's like your dad's staff. Yeah. Oh, so, so right now, if you go in and you be like, "Eric, take me to New York," he'll listen. Your dad I don't knew you were doing so. this interview. Yeah, my dad knew. Oh yeah. What did yeah. he say? He was like, "That sounds dope." <laughs> <laughs> you should have told me. He was at the he was like, is, "Is he cool? Like, is he like any racism, sexism?" I was like, "No, nah, he's just funny." My dad's like, <laughs> cool. He should have been like, he was with you. I was chilling at the Rock Kim concert. He's like, look, look, this is no fucking dub. If you're not doing any of this, you're good. Huh. He should have been like, dad, y'all was smoking weed at the Rock Kim concert. <laughs> said, nah, 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 I'm like, was... yeah, you guys were passing the blunt at the <laughs> <laughs> you backstage. You remember him, right? <laughs> nah, he didn't remember. He didn't want to, okay, whatever. Yo, Rock Kim, come here. I'm like, Phil, Murphy, nice to meet you. Like, okay, yo, Rock Kim, come here. <laughs> he did not give a fuck about me. <laughs> he pushed me to the side. Like, oh, definitely I wasn't personal. He definitely nah, nah, saw nah, Rakim and was I'm like, like fuck. Starstruck. That was it. That was it. Yeah, like, he is. One day he'll know me. <laughs> uh. And he was like, yo, I can't. He pushed me to the side. Remember, he was like, yo, kid, take this picture. He was like, <laughs> I think I took like two pictures. I'm like, one, two, three. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> no, nah, but your pops is cool. And I can see you look a lot like your pops. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but yeah, I, I mean, think I do. No, you, you <laughs> so, as soon as you both walked in, I'm like, oh, that's him. <laughs> I was like, that's him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know. I did think I was a little brother. Because like, you did tell me, you like, I'm bringing my little brother. Is that cool? I'm like, yeah, that's cool. I know. My little brother bailed. Yeah. I don't know Oh, why. he's not a fan of me. He's like, I don't, I don't care about that. He <laughs> is. Like, I'm like, you follow. You both follow each other on Instagram. Yeah, he's, he's like, cool. no, it sounds cool. Elizabeth's just so far away. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what city are you from? We're from Red Bank. Oh, okay, right, right. It's like that? 45. That's south? Uh, I think so, yeah. That's by like, what, like Yeah, we're like, we're like oh, exit okay. 109 yeah. on the parkway. Oh, you got a nice little ride. Yeah. 45 minutes or so. On the parkway south. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in the future with this whole, um, with the school system? What's going, what's going to happen with that? Like going back to school? I don't know. I mean. You know, Josh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, little, let me tell you what I do know. I mean, I know that. Schools can open if they can follow the guidelines, right? There's a whole set of guidelines, um, and, like, they're very specific. But I'm just looking at, like, other states and people going back to school. I, I don't know how it's going to look. And also, like, with the second wave coming in, probably. Oh, you still think there's a second wave coming? I think so. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. When do you I think, think that's going to happen? I think, like, probably when it gets cold again. I'm not sure. That's what I was assuming, because you figure, so many people are going to get sick just off. You figure wintertime, fall, cold season comes in. Yeah. Flu season. Flu season. Comes in. People are going to get sick. The sick right. That's when it's going to hit. The worst, worst time was the fall. Mm hmm. Oh, sure. I do remember that. Damn. Yeah, I think it's going to come back. New yeah. But New Jersey's doing a good hey. job. We got, we yeah, got Philly <laughs> at the helm. He did whatever they get. <laughs> no, but man, whatever happens, bro, you know, you said Jersey Strong, man. I appreciate you for coming to talk to us, man, chopping it up, getting to know y'all, you and your family. I mean, at the end of the day, whether people like y'all or people don't, y'all in the position. So whatever happens, y'all, you know, I know y'all got the best interests for, for us. Thank you. And, you know, I fucks with your dad. He's cool. You know, he looks cool. And in any position, in that high position, 
there's gonna be mistakes. It's gonna be like, damn, I could have done this different. Listen, it nobody, happens. Nobody can be prepared for what the fuck. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I even asked my pops, "Have you ever gone through this in the 55 years?" He's like, "Never. This is new to me." Yeah. So imagine Last my pops. Last time some shit like happened. Spanish flu was a hundred. Hundred years, ago, years ago, crazy. And that shit lasted for about two years. Yeah. I've been telling tell you people, oh, Corona's over. No, the fuck it is not. Yeah. <laughs> no, the fuck. Do it you is think not. you think it's gonna be over next year, 2021? I hope it'll end in 2021. But I mean, I. You hear it's impossible to really know what's good because, like, even the CDC, like, everyone's flip-flopping on, like, what they are saying is good and what's not good, like, all the time. It's all speculation, you know, like, there's a vaccine in, like, I don't know where I saw, like, maybe Spain or something that they're working, England, and, like, I don't know, like... I don't know if that's legit We're or not. We're working on one too. They said it's on trials, human trials now. Yeah, I, Russia is pushing a vaccine, but like that, I don't know. It's too early for them to have a finished vaccine, so yeah, yeah. that's a little sketchy out of the Russians. Yeah, yeah like I, like my mom, Shocker. like my man said, man, like we live in weird times. <laughs> we live in weird times. Very weird yeah. times. So. Somebody told me it was like Yo, if you if you read the Bible and you're religious, they're like you know we're at the end of days. That's what they were telling me the other day. Yeah. Damn. I'm not a religious person, but he was telling me that. He was yeah. like, oh, he's a really religious person. He was like, oh, we're living in the, like, damn, we we're young. Living in the middle of end of days. I was like, man, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> nah, that's true. Like, people do say in the revelations, this is supposed to happen. Like, uh, uh, viruses, plaques, all these weird. People protesting. Yeah, all these crazy is happening. Like, yeah. You know? I, I believe in all that stuff. I believe in it. And it is scary. Like, damn, because after that happens... The next thing that happens in the Bible is God comes back. Mm. So it's like, oh shoot, like man, like I was telling him, I'm mad young. <laughs> I want to, I want to have kids. Still, I want to have a family. <laughs> Why couldn't it happen in my next generation? <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see, man. But we got Josh Murphy in the building. This was the Mike Ruger podcast. Any last words you want to say before we get out? I just want to say thank you guys for having me on. I'm glad I came. I had a great time. Um, and I'll definitely come through your uncle's clubs. Hey, definitely. Point. Nah, we're yeah. definitely going to get lit. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely sure. going to have Josh on top you, of the table. Like, need, yeah. You're going to need Eric that day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have lit. my guy leaking information left and right, <laughs> sending TMZ and videos. Ain't no, ain't and no laying low. Ain't no laying uh, low, Barco. We'll Josh's party. <laughs> we got, did you come in and going to be like, we got Josh Murphy, <laughs> Phil Murphy's oldest son in the building. <laughs> <laughs> First cabana, ladies and gentlemen. And we're like, oh, right <laughs> Ain't no laying low in Barco. Yeah, like, everybody's trying to do. Everyone is trying to do that. I look forward to that. <laughs> yeah, appreciate you for coming through, man. We out, man.